up? It's me, Riley here, this is the next review, and this is the Separatist Spider Droid. It is a limited edition set, as the Republic Storm Speeder was, and as, um, Battle Genosis was. I've got all the special edition sets, um, Star Wars sets, so yes. Score. Um, but, um, it's, um, number is 7681, and ages are 712, and this is a really good set. And I just forgot a minifig. Um, bam. Okay, so we have all these minifigs here. Um, and they are pretty decent. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, they're pretty decent. You come with a regular battle droid. Uh, just one actually. Um, a commander droid, which we haven't seen since the Hailfire review. So, yep, he's cool. Not that much new. Um, could um, add some more detail. And do come with uh, just a regular Super Bell droid. Um, but yeah, okay. And he's just a regular Super Bell droid, yep. Uh, Regular clone. Uh, I didn't have this before, so sorry. Yeah, the usual. Uh, and Fox. Uh, with all the armor. Comes with all the armor, and I. He's the best printed like Lego minifig I've. Well, that Lego I've made since. Well, the best. Best since. Well, till um, the new sets came out in 2011. But, um, we do have this awesome printed torso. And it is the best torso ever. I mean, even Commander Wolfie's, Wolf's torso is not as good as this. This is so detailed. It's the best torso. Um, don't have any leg printing, but the head, it's got good detail, you know. It's nice. I just took off the pauldron because, yeah. Um, so they're on the minifigs. Only oh, comes with blasters. Uh, and um, just before I do the review for this, sorry guys. Um, before I do the review for this, um, it is a limited edition, as I said, and it is perfect set. If you do get your hands on this, you should definitely go buy it. Okay. Onto the spider droid. It is very big, actually. I mean, compared to a minifigure, it's just beast. It's massive, like three times a minifigure, um, four maybe. Um, but it is massive. Just bring it over. It's, it's got this very. Um, this, the ball is very designed. A lot of work and effort into it, but you know, it's good. Uh, the legs are pretty cool. They just go like that, and these can wobble, you know, around like that. But the only um, con about that the bad thing is, you know, it always falls over, stuff falls off. It always wobble, wobbles over. I mean. See, it just wobbles over. If I mean to get it into a regular position like that, uh, something like that is literally impossible because you have this side and then you, this side goes in. But you know it, it's pretty crap um, and annoying because that doesn't look that very cool. You need to move the legs in a bit more. It looks a lot better. By the way, um, has this retainable cannon on the top. Which only goes around like that, because the thing's in the way. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, it's wobbling over again. Uh, uh, this, it doesn't wobble, I mean, spin, but it just goes up and down. I didn't modify this so you can do it, but I did take the mod off. You just, um, put a spinny thing under it. Uh, yeah, and the eye looks really cool. I like the eye. You know, th that. Just put it there. 
and got this tubing, which is actually pretty rare. And well, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the leg detail on this is pretty cool. I like these little things on the top. Focus. Uh, they're pretty cool. All the way down, these brown pieces. I thought they were going to be um dark red, but they're actually brown. So. Yeah, um, you actually can stand this up properly, you have to actually put in the studs and everything. And, like, um, so. And you got it in good position, it will not move. And that's how you keep it good. But I've been wanting to do a review on this set for quite a while. Um, but, oh man, I can't be able to take it off, but, uh, yeah, this set is a really cool set, I've been wanting to do it for a while, um, so I'm get this off, but it is, you know, it is sort of not worth it, it is very rare now, if I sold this, some people on eBay would offer, like, maybe $100, if I had put up $100, like, people would just buy few seconds. I mean, this set is really rare, only like, not many sets were produced. I don't think they would believe that they would sell much of these, and it's the only set which you get, Commander Fox, which I'm really pleased I got him. He's the best, he's a beast man, he's awesome. Um, pro, but, yeah, that's the whole set. Uh, just taking the spider droid back off. If you do the, use this for mocks, you will have to have a big mock, a really big mock. I mean, for Genosis mocks, I haven't used it yet because I do have four base plates, as you can see. I just got one, two, three, four, and you know it's really big. Um, just like the uh, cannon, like I mean, let's compare it to. Oh, let's, Let's compare it to my Genosis Cannon. It just makes it look small. Even though it's a bit fatter. And wide and stuff. But it just... Even though Genosis Cannon looks... It has to be big, bigger. It just make, makes, makes it look small. Now to the box. Um, Just have the list. Sorry about all the pieces and stuff, guys. This is pretty upset. They stuffed up like... This, the battle droid, super battle droid, looks pretty crappy, um, photography, uh, just about super battle droid, um, but I'm not saying, yep, it's all back there, Command Fox, um, things came out in 2008, so, yeah, I can move along like that, um, so if you can, I can go up and down, got that set? And I don't think I'm gonna get that or that. So, I mean, 2008 sets were really crap. I mean, the only good one was. Oh no. Cool. Sorry guys again. Um, as I said, uh, I did tell you all that. Uh, good set. If you do get around to seeing this, try and buy it. It is a good set. I reckon it's worth it. You know. Just go and buy it. Just try. Uh, so you definitely go buy the set. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other reviews. This is a limited edition set. Go buy it. Uh, and it's another review. So yeah. Bye.